Hi guys, I'm Chris. Welcome to this week's tutorial. Let's draw together. In today's tutorial, we'll be creating a cute girl gnome in Procreate and we'll cover how to draw braids and find a quick, easy way to make a pattern for your gnome's hat. I've created a free color palette for you as always for this tutorial, so you can just hit the link in the description below to download and install into Procreate. We'll be using all free brushes, my favorite sketch, model line, and watercolor brushes, and you can find the link for them in the description below as well. I've created a new canvas using the spec scene here, and we are all ready to go. All right, so first I'm going to go and grab my PLL favorite sketch brush and I'm just gonna start with my simple sketch. I'm just gonna use black to start with. I'm gonna keep this at about, I don't know, 30%, 35, somewhere around there. And with gnomes, the typical gnome, of course, we think of maybe more of a triangular shape. I'm just gonna bring that in here, just sort of a rounded candy corn shape. <laughs> um, and then I know I'm gonna have the little sort of the rest of her hat here. It's gonna be a girl gnome today. I've had some requests for girl gnomes and they're part of my new pack as well. Um, just a lot of the times you can find the boys so it's nice to, to see the girls too. So we have lots of girl gnomes. And if you haven't had a chance to check out my new Christmas pack called Gnome for the Holidays, here's a little peek at all the cute gnome illustrations that you can use to make all sorts of festive creations. You can find it over at the shop at prettylittlelines.com. So we're going to be doing braids today as well, which can be a little tricky. So I'm just sort of deciding where I'm going to put that nose. It's going to not quite be center, but below center of this triangle here. And um, yeah, so I'm just going to have the nose. This is not going to have eyes. They're going to be covered by the hat. So then I'm going to have braids coming in around here and here on either side and then her little little hands are going to come here so she's going to be holding a little lantern so i'll just have these hands together like so and then we will have her little elbow little hands come in here like that probably should have made this a little neater but that's all right <laughs> Okay, so then I'm just going to take my eraser and just erase along here because I'm going to put my um, my braids down here. I'm just going to have this center line here and I'm just going to use that as reference to remember where my lines go. And I'm just going to cross over, kind of swoop and down. It's not going to be too pretty right away. Swooping down, swooping down. There might be some better strategies for this, but this is how I kind of think about it. <laughs> so the next one is going to touch this line and you make the same shape, leave it open here, but then that'll tuck in there. You see, and that's basically it. And then you would finish up here. There you go. That's sort of zigzaggy woven pattern. I'm just going to draw a little bow and then the rest of the hair is sort of there. Okay, so let's do that again on the other side. Just have that and just do this little swoop, 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 swoop. Okay, and then the other side, I'm gonna come around and just remember to leave that open. If you try to tuck it in, it's not gonna make any sense yet, but now you hit it. You hit it on both sides. You have those touching little swoops. Little swoops, kind of come in there and do that bow here. All right, just gonna erase this little line here. Just clean this up a touch. Okay, looks wonderful. This might have gone out a little bit too far. I actually do want to see her elbow there a little bit on the end, I think coming in here. Probably gone a little bit wide on this part. Have her little elbow. And this will be a sort of a little pom-pom at the end. All right. Oops, forgot to finish this braid. And um, to solve the problem of not having a, a beard <laughs> for these girls, I decided to make just a little scarf. So I'm just going to bring that in there. 
And then I'll just sort of be a scarf because I like to have the mouths covered as well, just kind of like to match the little man gnomes. Okay, so let's just do a little lantern. So I'll just have a little handle and the top here, like so. And let's kind of make it, I don't know, like that, I guess. And let's put a little candle in it. Okay. So that's basically the start, a rough sketch of our gnome. I think it looks fairly classic with the, this basic outline here. Awesome, okay, so now what we're gonna do is just hit that layer button, go to the end, and slide down that opacity way down so we will draw over top. Okay, and oh, I'm gonna add a new layer so we can go over top and do our line work. And so I'm still gonna remain with my favorite sketch brush, and I'm gonna come in and get some colors. So I'm gonna have the hat and the dress in red and the scarf in green, so let's go grab this darkest red here, and I'm just gonna do my outlines. And I'm going to stay, I think I'm going to stay at about 30%. And let's just get in here and do some nice, nicer line work than I've got going on here. So to create this little bend, I'm just going to do a little squiggly line. I'm going to play around with my pressure on this. Actually, I'm going to make this a little bit narrower. Um, uh, I really like this pen because of the uh, pressure sensitivity of it. So you can really make some nice irregular lines. I like that kind of look because you know... I need it just especially for that so let's just continue on with our little arms here so just you know to make some interest give a little push with your pen from time to time kind of makes the lines a little bit more more fun more personality All right, let's finish up this hat here. Okay, so I think that's it for this color right now. So I'm gonna go and grab this. Actually, I'm gonna, let's put her nose here and just grab that dark brown. So I'm just gonna go over top of that line just a little bit. All right, great. And actually, while we're on this brown, we might as well do this lantern here to give the handles a little thickness and let's see a little bar across the top I forgot do this part I'm gonna just wanna make sure that this line goes below the other line just so it's not completely lined up because that might look a little bit odd if they're completely flush, those two lines. Okay, you know what? Um, Yeah, we can just do this candle too while we're here. Just make it look a little bit like there's some dripping. We'll come in, I think I'm gonna to have to add a little yellow, we can go grab another yellow here. So I'm just gonna get you one. Let's see. There, we'll add that yellow. Great. Okay, so let's get that green, the darkest green. Put a little, little scarf here. And just have it so it has a little bit of volume. I'm just some little folds in there. Let's make these green as well. Little bows. Put a little, like it looks like the fabric was folding there as well. Okay, and her little mitts too. Perfect. 
Okay, and I think the last thing we need to outline is her hair and the little pom-pom at the end here. Okay, so I'm just gonna, with the dark gray, just bring in these lines. Again, you can get to practice these braids. It's just starting off, really. You can always come in and finish that line. little hairs. Okay, make sure we get it all the way up. These are tucked in there. Actually, no, I'm not going to put that line there. I think that better finish like that. Okay. All right, and then just gonna do little little fluffs just to make that look kind of like a the end of a Santa hat. Okay, perfect. So I can go up and turn off my line layer, my sketch layer below, and now we have a nice clean version to work with. Actually, we can go in and just add a new layer here and delete that sketch layer altogether. We won't really need it again. So I'm gonna go and grab this lighter red color, it's sort of a pinky red, and I'm gonna grab this PL mono line. So it's just a really nice fill pen. It's pretty dense, but it also has a little bit of a wobbly edge just to give it that sort of um, not too perfect style that I like. A little bit more of a handmade look and it also works really nicely just to fill in all this stuff. I have it at about, you know, I can have it at about 100% right now for this. And I'm just going to go and quickly fill this all in. Everything that's red that will be filled in with this lighter red. Okay, I'm also gonna have these all on separate layers. So I'm gonna have the hat on a separate layer. I hit the plus sign to make the little dress on another layer. Just for painting later on, it might make it easier for me. Okay, and then I'm just gonna hit the plus sign. I'm gonna go grab the green and do all this green work. Okay. 
Okay, next I'm gonna go grab this um, beige color and I'm just gonna head to the plus sign and make a new layer. And I'm just gonna do this lamp here. Let's go ahead and just grab the white here and I'm going to do the candle. And grab that yellow, fill that in as well. Actually, I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller, maybe about down to 30 just to get in there. And obviously that looks a little bit odd, right? So why don't we make the glass pane? So I'm going to just go in the layer below, hit the plus sign, grab the white, and this will look weird for a second. <laughs> and just go around where the window or the glass would be, fill it in, and then just go and knock down the opacity to 50%, let's say. And we can always just take the gray, take our favorite sketch, and just sort of do a few little slashes on it. Just to sort of maybe a little darker. Go look like that. Perfect. Okay, so let's go and do our hair. I'm just gonna actually turn off the background color so we can see, otherwise it's gonna be a little bit hard because we're gonna use white. Um, so I'm just gonna add a new layer, grab my white, make sure I'm on my mono line, and then we'll just fill in the braids. Oops, I'm below. I have to go a little bit smaller at the ends here. Okay, and then lastly, actually I'm gonna go down to the bottom, the very bottom here, hit the plus sign, and I'm just gonna grab the skin color and fill this in. Perfect. Okay, so we can turn this, um, actually no, I'm gonna leave this back on. I'm gonna go down to the white, or back up to the white again and, and get that again and get my favorite sketch and just sort of go through and make all this little bit, these bits happen. So that doesn't look like a weird, weird shape. I'm really just blending it in. Okay, yay. Let's go turn on that background color again. And now she needs a little jazzing up. So I'm just gonna go back to my green layer, grab that dark green, make sure I'm on my favorite sketch, and just start adding in a little bit of shading. It's kind of like the nebbly look of the side of the pencil. I think that looks good. Just a little on the bottom. Just gives it a little grit, I guess. Wonderful. All right, and back to the red layer, the dress layer. Get that dark red. Same thing, just sort of where you think it's meant to go. I'm gonna do some shading uh, as well with the, um, the watercolor brush too, but I like to have 
various textures and I think this gives gives a nice one. Gives a little shadow from that maybe. Whoops, going out to the lines. <laughs> All right, this gives her a little bit of something, something. Okay, actually maybe around her arms too. Okay. Next, let's get this hair looking a little bit more, like it makes some sense. I'm gonna grab a new layer, just in case I mess up and I can um, <laughs> delete it a little bit easier, erase it. Still on my favorite sketch. I'm just gonna come in, I noticed obviously before too, I, oops, only the darker, darker gray. Um, just missed this line here. Um, what you wanna do is get that light gray and just, I'm gonna bring my pen down a little bit to maybe about 20. And just where they meet, you kind of, that's where I'm gonna sort of put in these little hair wispies. And it's just a few, just, you don't have to do every single hair, of course, but, um, and just have some of them coming along. So lots near the center, darker in the center where the lines join and then, and then just lighter through the center. And you can give a little shade if you want to, the side of your pencil. And again, using that pressure with this pen, it's so nice. Feels satisfying. <laughs> So you can do this. Hair does take a little bit of time, so you gotta kind of be patient. And you can come in here with the darker too, and just really kind of go over in some areas what we've done, just to really get the depth there. And I would keep that fairly sparse. Not too much. So you can see how that kind of brings some depth. All right, so I'm gonna carry on. You can follow along with me. So I'm gonna carry on and you can follow along with me. The other thing I would do is just always do a few really light wispies out. Actually, maybe I'm gonna do this with the white. Just a few wispies on the outside. That'll make it look a little bit more natural. Not that this is particularly natural picture, <laughs> but you know what I mean. It's good for when you're doing hair, these little, little bits. I think that really makes it a big difference. Okay, so you can see the difference between the both of these sides. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side.
Okay, next I think we need some a little pattern on the top of our hat. So I'm going to just go to the hat layer and I'm going to just hit the plus sign, tap on it, and tap on the clipping mask so that this will stay within her hat, <laughs> within this space. So I'm just going to make it up um, as I go and let's see, I'm on my favorite sketch. Um, just going to do some lines and a little decoration. So I'm going to Bump back up to about 30% and just give a little line here and then maybe another one. I'm gonna look back and see if I've done that relatively straight. That's good enough for today. Maybe I'll make a skinnier one. I haven't really decided on exactly the pattern yet, but I like hearts, so let's do a heart. <laughs> And I'm going to do upside down heart. These are almost V's really. So if you just think about that, I make them a little rounded at the ends. So I'm just going to go along, do a few of these. Maybe I'll do some little dots in between like that. It's kind of fun. You could copy and paste these by all means and change the transfer, um, transformation of them and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to do them by hand today, but you are more than welcome to do that. I'm going to do some copying and pasting in a little bit, or duplicating rather, um, just to speed up the process. But this part will have it look pretty hand done because it is. <laughs> and. Yeah, I think it'll be good, but I'll show you how to copy and paste this so we don't have to draw all of these all the time, um, forever and ever. <laughs> we might be here quite a while. Okay, I like that. And then I'm gonna do um, some polka dots. Okay, and maybe we'll just keep it like that today. So what I'm gonna do is just duplicate this layer by sliding it to the left, hit duplicate. So now there are two. So then I'm just gonna hit my arrow and cheat by moving it up. <laughs> so that makes it a little easier. Now I noticed that this is quite, um, maybe a little bit too much arch on there. So I'm gonna hit the free form and just, um, just squish it down just a hair. Just so it's a little bit flatter, not quite so arched. Just because the way I drew it. Um, and then I'm gonna just duplicate that again. Bring it up. Duplicate it again. You get the idea. Until we hit the top. Okay, and at this point, actually, I'm going to just turn it a little bit because it starts to bend there. Okay, so now that I've done all of that, I'm actually going to um, go and merge all, sorry, merge all of these here, except for the first one. I'm going to just leave that just so we have it. I'm going to merge these all, and now I'm going to go along and just, because I'm right-handed, do it this way, um, just erase up to this line here. And I'm just trying to decide. I think I'm gonna leave it like that. Okay. And now for the other side, so this would tip over upside down, although this is this will work either way, either direction, but as far as sort of the curvature of the lines, let's do that. So I'm gonna go back to my layers, and I'm actually gonna duplicate that merged one again. So I'm just gonna say duplicate, hit our arrow, turn it around, rotate it about 180. Actually, it's gonna be less than that, because we're gonna, I'm just trying to go with the angle of this, and move it up to where it might match in there and then duplicate again and 
and just maybe just slightly adjust that there. Okay, so that works great. Obviously, we're going to have to fix this, so I'm gonna merge those two together. So again, I have this, I have my original just in case I screw up something. So I'm gonna turn this, those two off, and we have this one, and I'm gonna go and erase all of this. So of course, by all means, you can draw it all by hand, but this is just a quick way little workaround just to make your life a little bit easier, a little bit quicker when you're doing this type of pattern. Okay, so we can just turn those two back on and there we have it. So quick and easy way to get all that patterning. <laughs> Hope that was okay to follow along with. All right, so let's just go and do a little bit more detail work here. Uh, I'm going to go to her skin layer, this one, and hit the plus sign, clipping mask, Go down to the brown, go to my watercolor. And let's just make some shadows here. I'm just gonna make this a little smaller, maybe about a 5%. So this part of her cheek is gonna be a little bit in shadow. And I'm just gonna, sorry, delete that there, or erase that there. Oh my gosh. Um, and then just under her nose. Maybe make this a little bit bigger. This is a nice brush, it has a nice edge to it. Okay, and I think, let's just try um, hitting the N here and going to multiply, let's see if that's a little nicer. And I'm just gonna knock back the opacity a little, little bit, just sort of play around with it, see where you're at. Okay, and then I'm gonna also give her a little bit of a pink cheek and I'm just gonna use this, um, just that light red, and just bring my opacity way down to about 15. And just give her a little, little pink there. Maybe let's try 30. Maybe a little bit of redness on her nose there. Just a little flush. And while I'm here, let's do the white. Grab that sketch. And actually go back to the layers uh, and just add a new layer and just give her a little highlight here. Just the side of my brush there. And while I'm in the mood for highlights, let's go to our little lantern here. I'll hit the plus sign again. Let's just make a few little highlights here. And really this should probably have some, have some green on it too. So I'm just gonna go to the layer below, grab that brown. Let's just make a little bit of like wood grain. Um, brush size back down to about 10. And we're still on our favorite sketch. I'm just gonna put a few like lines to make it look a little bit like wood. Okay, just gives it a little bit of texture or something. Perfect, okay. Now let's do some more sh shading and whatnot. I'm going to go to her hair layer, this one, and just hit the plus sign, tap it, clipping mask, go and grab that medium um, lighter gray color, grab our watercolor. I'm gonna still be on, I guess, around 10. See how that goes. Maybe a little bit more. Let's try 15. Just gonna give it a little light dusting just to sort of give that some dimension there. You can see that. That looks better. Now I'm gonna bring it back down to maybe about six, five or six. Give some shading here because of course the hat's gonna come over. And maybe a little bit more on the hair, just sort of again keeping that highlight in in the center. So just on the edges you do this little shadow. softens it up a bit. OK, 
a and then to her hat at the so hit the um this layer and i'm gonna go actually i'm gonna go above above all of our pattern and do another clipping mask get that dark red and we're still let's see let's go back up to about 12 somewhere around there just shade over so then that's getting that white too so that'll really make a difference maybe a little bit bigger to 20 just trying to be really light with this so just get in the, the creases you can see how that really makes a difference I just bumped it back up to 30 just to make it a little softer in here okay great it's good for the hat let's go to the dress here we go and hit that clipping mask maybe back down to about 20 20 or so a little bit more shading in here just giving it a little bit more texture and whatnot awesome okay well i think that's it for today so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did please hit that like button subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can be notified of new tutorials just like this one in the future thank you so much for watching i love you guys and i'll see you in the next one